Alright you guys, so today we're going to do a little bit of a quick tutorial on how to overclock your monitor. So, um, this is, I mean, it, from what I can tell, it'll work with most, for the most part, any of your standard new monitors that you have out there today. All of them are going to be c capable of hitting different um, um, amount of refresh rates, but uh, as you can see we have a, let me lower this down, we have a Lenovo just standard main name brand IPS monitor sorry I'm gonna be filming my screen because sometimes when you uh, do some overclocking your screen will go black um, which is perfectly normal don't even worry about it but so first um, we're gonna check as you can see right now I'm running at 75 Hertz let's see if we can uh, get that to zoom in a little bit so you can see it yep there we go so we're at 75 Hertz and uh, as you can see I have a whole bunch of other ones that are like here um, so for now we're just going to keep it at the 75 because you know I don't feel like doing anything else. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to open up Google or your preferred engine search engine, and we're going to type in Toasty X Custom Resolution. And uh, when we do that, it'll be the first uh, first what you call it popping up first link, and it'll be MonitorTest.com/form/thread. Um, and you're going to need to download two things. So the first thing we're going to get is the one of the first links posted in the forum thread, which is um, www.monitortest.com/cru-1.2.zip. That is going to be the first file you're going to need to grab. The second one you're going to need to grab is going to be depending on your graphics card. If you have a AMD slash ATI or an NVIDIA graphics card. Now there's the AMD slash ATI pixel clock patcher and then there's the NVIDIA pixel clock patcher. Grab the one that pertains to your graphics card um, and uh, after you grab those two files um, I'm gonna have to hold on. I already have them so I'm not gonna re-download them of course. So after you grab those two files you're gonna be hit with uh, two little uh, two uh, zip files. You're gonna get this zip file and this zip file and uh, after you unzip them, you'll get these two files right here. And uh, we'll put them on my uh, desktop for now. Okay, so go back to looking at my desktop. <laughs> okay, so the first thing you're going to run is the um, pixel clock patcher. So as you guys can see, mine says already patched, already patched, already patched because I've already done this. So I'm not going to redo it. But if um, basically it'll pop up the exact same window except these will all say found instead of already patched and then you basically just hit yes to patch them and if you want to reset this um, in case you ever need to go back to your stock settings all you have to do is hit where after you've already ran the patch it'll say exactly like mine already patch and it'll say restore from backup and you just click yes and that'll restore it um, I don't want to restore it but basically like I said it'll pop up and it'll say found 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 and then it'll say patch and then you just hit yes so after you do that you're gonna um, do a quick reboot on your computer, but because I've already done it, I don't need to reboot my computer. So after you boot, uh, reboot your computer and reload everything back up, you're going to run the CRU program. Okay, so once your little CRU, let's uh, zoom out a little bit so you can see the whole thing here. Sorry, you guys. Yeah, because I don't want my screen to go black while I'm screen recording, so that's why. So as you can see, I have a bunch of these here. You won't have any of these here, so we'll just delete all real quick. So now there's no detail resolutions. You'll have, I think, one for like 60 hertz, whatever your stock is. Now the first thing you want to do is select the monitor, which is this one, which is my active monitor. Um, and then you're going to hit add. Okay, so now we have the 1080p, 1920 by 1080p, which we want. We're not going to touch anything else but the refresh rate right here this is the only thing we are going to be touching um, everything else is not really relevant unless you know what you're doing so we're gonna turn this to 70 okay um, you can start at 65 is what I would suggest so 65 Hertz and then just hit OK so now we can see um, it has added it up here so now that it's been added up there we're gonna add another one now I suggest adding multiple ones if you don't know what your computer is gonna run at so um, we're going to put one for 70. We're just going to go up five frames every time. And uh, then we're going to go for 75. And then because I know mine can't go over 75, we'll add one more for um, 77 um, because. And then um, I'm going to get rid of the 65 one because I already know that I can run 65. And I'm going to show you guys what happens if you put in something too high. So we'll put in 95 because I know that's not going to work. Okay, so that's um, after you get your little custom resolutions. Now, like I said, I suggest doing multiple of them in increments of around five to find out when your computer's monitor is going to stop letting you do this thing. Um, 
and that is because every single time you put in a, res a custom resolution you have to hit OK and then you have to reboot your computer so we're gonna reboot my computer now and uh, come back when it's all said and done so after our reboot we're gonna go to start control panel and we're gonna find the display right here display then we're gonna go to adjust resolution and right here where it says advanced settings we're gonna click on advanced settings and you should get this menu to pop up now um, once this menu pops up you go to monitor and right here you can see my custom 70 Hertz let me zoom in on that so you can see my custom 70 Hertz right here and then if we drop down menu you see my 75 77 and 95 so you put in your 75 and or whatever one you're gonna do I'm gonna do 75 and then you just click apply your monitor screen should go black for a second and yes so now we are running at 75 Hertz so what happens when I go a little bit over so 77 Hertz which I know my computer can do um, every monitor is gonna be different I get this I get this out of range um, thingy so obviously I can't go higher than 75 so you know we're gonna hit no don't save that resolution now what happens if I go way high um, some monitors will do this so we're at 95 now which I know I definitely cannot do and that's what happens now we're sitting in a black screen now what happens when the black screen pops up do not panic just wait just uh, let your computer sit there I think it's about 15 seconds and it'll go back to the uh, standard resolution um, custom resolution that you had set prior to that so as you can see we're back up so basically um, 95 Hertz is not gonna work so we're gonna go ahead put it at 75 because like I said I know that works we're gonna hit OK and then we're gonna go ahead and start a game that I already have a frame counter in so I'm gonna start Left 4 Dead 2 um, and uh, show you guys that it is working um, just gotta wait for this thing to boot up and uh, like I said, very simple process. For the most part, every monitor should be able to um, allow you to do this. Just it might not allow you to get um, higher than 60. Chances are you might not be able to, but you also might be able to. Who knows? You know what I mean? So um, with my panel, I've noticed that I do not get any. Uh, so we're just going to go to single player for now because it will load faster. Um, I don't get any crazy um, motion blurring or pixel staying for too long. Um, I haven't noticed any issues like that, but you can get some really weird looking funny colors or blurry pixels um, with the higher you go if your monitor supports it. So say your monitor is okay with you running at 120 or 100 hertz, um, you might still be getting some uh, of that sketchy feeling stuff, uh, sketchy feeling uh, pixels and, and unsmoothness um, between frame changes. Um, so if we look down here at the bottom, we are running at 75, so I have my uh, I have my VSync on, obviously. So we're running at 75, which is uh, pretty good. And uh, as you guys can see, we'll get the dip down to 73 or 74 or something when stuff starts happening. Um, and then it won't go higher than 75. That's VSync, but it's actually it's uh, giving me extremely smooth gameplay. Nothing sketchy, no uh, crazy blurs in the pixels. Let's uh, zoom out and get a further back view of this. So overall it works just fine um, it's an extra 15 frames per second added to my monitor so why not the monitor was expensive so why not do it um, for the most part I, I guess anything overclocking pushing it past what you're normally supposed to run it at could definitely pose a problem for anything but um, for the most part I don't really see too much danger in this um, if you hit your max and you're really uncomfortable um, just back it off a little bit and you won't be pushing it as hard as you could so that's always nice but um I've had my monitor like this for uh, several months, um, like two months now, so um, I'm, I'm not worried about it. And frankly, I'm about to buy a 1440p monitor and try to overclock that one of 95, um, one of the monitors I saw on Tech Syndicate's channel. So I'm going to take a look at that, um, ordering that actually today, and hopefully we'll get it in the next week or so. Um, so I can put a video up and a review of that 1440p monitor, and then I'll be able to do some bench tests at 1440p as well, which... Uh, will be pretty nice so anyways you guys that's uh that's basically how you overclock your monitor and like I said this will work with pretty much any monitor on the market it just is depending on what brand you have is depending on how high you're going to be able to overclock it to if you can at all but um the programs for, should work on pretty much every monitor like I said I just the uh results and results that you get are going to vary 
So, anyways, you guys, this is Steven with All Talk On, and I'll catch you guys later.